provocative conversations. When I was talking against reference, there was a comment about we exist in language, which came from the room. That's difficult for me because existence is a word. Existence is uh, something which I find presuppositionally in, in, in our speaking, I have to presuppose the existence of anything I talk about. And that immediately turns me into this, uh, turns the language into this realistic epistemology. So as soon as I talk about language, language is assumed to exist, is assumed to be a thing that is there. And the kind of models, if I make a connection here, the kind of models that Lou is talking about are slowly, I think over the last 20 years in cybernetics, more and more we have been able to make models in which we can do this continuous thing. All this is results of reading papers on cybernetics, recursion, circularity, self-reference between Heinz von Förster, Bateson, Maturan, Harsk, Ashby. And if you are on, in tune, you will notice behind it the whisperings of all these papers. Right, when you were yes, oscillating um, between... Here it is, here it is again. If the two marks concatenated are allowed to collapse each other to nothing, uh, if that is allowed to happen, then then uh, on the one hand you have the sequence which is building the, the recursive image inside of image, but if, if it's allowed to <coughs> cancel, uh, then it will just go down to oscillation. Square so, wave. Square wave. Sawdust. Sawdust. Tell us about sawdust. Square wave. the resolution obtained as an oscillation, the oscillator solution IJTF, IJTF, etc. Yes. Yesterday, when you were not yet here, Ernst von Glassesfeld was saying that this was a metaphor, and Lou said, this is a rope. Now, I will then say... Later I admitted it was a metaphor. Sorry? But I don't know if he admitted you, it was you a rope. Said it was, yeah. You said it's a rope. Yes, okay. later I admitted it was a metaphor, but I don't know if he admitted that it was a rope. <laughs> but this is a, this is a line on a blackboard made with chalk. I'm chalk. Aware of that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I know my sight is getting dim, darling. But I... No, no, no. That is something that's <laughs> happening. <laughs> The use of a molecule it is entirely possible. <laughs> it's not an oscillation you're pointing at. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, a, it's a drawing. A representation it's a drawing of an oscillation <laughs> made in chalk upon an apparatus called a blackboard, just as that is a, yes. a drawing made in TV. No, that's not a drawing. That is a feat. That is it. That's that's the actual thing. It's not a representation of the thing. It is the thing. You can treat it as a, as a metaphor for self-reference. Yeah, yeah. But what's going on there is going on there. And yeah. Yeah, you're actually getting... Well, yeah. anything, anything, anything presumed... And that difference is exactly what I mean about living in the eye of language, that if, if we're continuously, referentially throwing it out, we never get in. It's always the idea of radical change. The radical change takes place in the mind. Can I draw you back to what, uh, the beginning? You were, you were talking about this operation of, or uh, geometrically thinking of uh, looking at thought as always having a, 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 an orthogonal component. Yeah. It's all in the orthogonal. Yes. Orthogonal to what? Component. Well, for example, <laughs> the if mind. You, if, to the mind. It, the mind is consisting in a process which produces the boundary. 
and the boundaries of the city. And that goes on indefinitely. And in fact, it, it will eat its own tail. And if it eats its own tail, it may be regarded in a coherent sense as true. It existed. If it doesn't, it doesn't exist. I mean, it's just back to this vegetation. I would, say, I would say mind is a first-person pronoun. You would have... Why don't mind what is there? We cannot be outside mind. So you, you, to say mind is, it's not... Well, I never suggested we were outside it. Yes, the, the language in which you say mind is project, yes. pro propels you outside it. I don't see why it does. I mean... Uh, I, I am in mind, I have a mind, you have a mind, we all have minds. There is a social mind, there is a mind consisting of the people in this room, <coughs> and so on. There are many minds, the entire conference. Uh, we make mind, we mind, we remind, we remind ourselves. We make boundaries. Yes, we make boundaries, which is how, how we make mind in that sense, because the process which makes a boundary, which is a distinction, if you like. Right. Right. And that's the business of right. I was haggling on the, the necessity of inserting. Such a process necessitates a mind to comprehend the boundary. Yeah, that's right. It does. And what would such a process a, be? A process that makes a boundary necessitates a mind yeah. to comprehend the boundary. <laughs> That's right. Different minds are going to construct different boundaries. So it seems. And right. therefore well, different well. entities. Yes, it is. Because your idea of a dog is not my idea of a dog. The only caveat I introduce is not how they conceive the dog. I mean, for example, what you call a dog might be a clinical to me. But there is no way in which it's going to stay with you. You won't have a stable quadruped or a stable unicorn, uh, nor will I. Would you say that the dog for me is the same as the image produced is for the circuit television camera? No. It would be too easy to track yourself. It's too right. easy. Mm -hmm. But there is an analogy. Well, there's an analogy, yes. Well, there's a, there is an analogy which is designated by that as a metaphor. Well, the camera doesn't have any choice. Sir? The television yeah. circuit has no other choice but to cognize feeding the way back it on does. itself. That's right. right. Yeah. Choice. The choice is a condition for the generation of significance. Anything that was not choice between alternatives, nothing has any meaning, no matter what anybody says. Of course, in our social world, things is what's said about them, but a lot of what's said about them is slander and libel. So beware. If you cannot detect in a statement or report what it says no to, then you haven't got the meaning. Then you are in the presence of dictatorship or what you so very contemptuously call manipulation, although I must say manipulation is one of the most wonderful feelings one can have. B, choice manifests your freedom as the number of alternatives you have for choice. Freedom is nothing else but the number of alternatives. And you can and detect that immediately when you, for instance, have a plan to change something, the first thing that happens to you, your alternatives diminish immediately. Because you have to, in order to state your point, avoid lots of other points you have been used to. Uh, if you want to fight for the blacks or for the whites or for the greens, or for the women or whatever, the first thing you do, you constrain, not that, not that, not that, not that, and finally you are sitting there with three alternatives and become a big bore. However, that does not accuse the aim or goal. It only makes you very lousy strategists. So the joke is, and the pleasure is, number C, if 
I distinguish between the best alternative, where I have to put all others down in order to call it the best, or if I want to rather make the best choice, where I keep them all up so that I can use them tomorrow, and that I call the one I choose only the nowest and not the best choice. So I distinguish between the best alternative and the best choice. I recommend the best choice if they two are not identical. Frequently they are identical. More often they are appear identical. Most often they are lied about and claimed to be identical. Don't believe it. Investigate. You have choice. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we have to hold the camera. That's true, but once we're holding the camera, you, uh, you can explore that place. You can interesting things, in fact, a very large number of interesting things. It's like some rotating mirror maze tricks. Well, you first you have to get the idea of holding the camera like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the, the interesting thing to me on that but is that see, no when we think of self-reference, we think it's yeah. one thing. But it, there's, there's a whole. But you add a little police. If you, once you start doing it, once you start playing with it, there's a whole lot of things in there. There's a whole lot. The, the, it's to me, it's like a space which has boundaries on which these infinite regresses happen, and, and in between something else happens. But that's a boundary in itself. Possible. I mean, that's a boundary which bounds a particular kind of world. My perception of it yeah. is that, yeah. yeah.